Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Sorry about all the wind. I didn't think it was this windy, so I left the other camera with the good mic on it in the truck. I want to share a couple things with you. Of course, this caboose, you know, Nancy is for you. I don't know what year it is. Of course, there's the airline for their brakes. I'm not allowed to get up on it. But if I remember right, I do remember that this there's a, a bike trail and walking trail that runs for many, many miles through here. And uh, it's the rails to trails. That's when they, they took the rail, railroad line out and they put in this walking trail here. It's called the Green Mile. I believe this is one of the train cars that used to run on that line, if I remember correctly. This is what they're doing to our park, and I'll have to look through my stuff and see if I've got any pictures of this. But they're building this big, huge-ass building here, and I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I know we have a lot of, we have like a lot of parties down here. We have um, the Cooter Festival, we have, um, bands um, 4th of July and all this stuff now I'm guessing the way this building shaped right over here I'm guessing this one to be maybe bathrooms but there's the lake right over there it's called Henderson Lake and just beyond that lake it's see it'd be over that way is also a pond known as Cooter Pond that's right, I'm saying cooter, guys. But it's a turtle. So we have that cooter festival every year. It's pretty cool. I'll throw a picture of me with the turtle that we took the year before last, I think. I got my picture taken with a giant turtle that was walking around. But they're doing an awful lot of work on this park. And Monkey keeps saying it's sad because it's so beautiful. See, they're putting more buildings up there. But there's also a big giant play area for the kids that they didn't really have before. They had a couple little things, a couple swings and stuff, but that was it. But I'll have to see if we got any pictures. See all the stuff for the kids. I'll have to see if, if we got any pictures of the park before. I think I've got some aerial views of it when I took the drone up. And I'll include that in this video. And right up there, see, the walking trail is right here, okay? That's where the walking trail goes through. But right up here, it used to, it looks like it used to be a train station. I don't know if that's really the train station, if that was really the train station, or if they just built that to look like it. So I'm not sure... Because if that was the train station, you would think the tracks went through there. So I'm not positive. You know, I've only been here a couple years, so I don't know the story of this town. But this is the town we live in right now. See, people ride their bikes, and let me grab my pop. So like I said, Nancy, I'm not sure 
you might know more I think you know more a lot more about trains than I do so maybe you can kind of kind of maybe date this if I would have brought my uh, I can't see in if I'd have brought my my big tripod I could have held you up there you could have looked in the windows but we've got we've got this here and this uh, the Whitlacoochee State Trail one of Florida's largest rail trails runs right through here like I said it's known as the Green Mile it goes for many many miles and people use it every day all year so here's something here that's a newsletter I thought this was pretty cool. I had to share it with you. Friendly tip of the month. Dog walkers, try this yoga move. Bend over and pick up your dog's poop. It's not exactly the downward dog position, but it'll make everyone else happy. <laughs> I dig it. That's cool. Okay, I found a little bit of information. The trail stretches 46 miles. It's through three counties, Citrus County, Hernando, and Pasco counties. It also, along the trail, there's also an equestrian trail that parallels portions of it. For those of you that don't know, you know, it's for horses. You can ride horses uh, through many of these counties along this trail in certain, certain places. Um, it says, uh, Whistle Markers, the Lake Henderson Trestle, and the Inverness Depot are reminders of railroad history. So that is the depot I do believe that I showed you that was up that way. That I wasn't sure if that was a real depot. So apparently it is. So it makes me wonder why the depot would be so far away from, you know, they could have rerouted it a little bit. I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. Uh, this People bike this and walk this every day. So it does run 46 miles. I mean, you know, you think about it, 46 and 46, you know, that's a lot of miles. You know what I mean? It's 92 miles if, if you took it, start at one end and go to the other and then back again. So, um, that's pretty cool. This is one of the historical markers right there in that picture. So, we, we've walked a little bit of it, but not far, just a few miles. But, so anyway... There's what I found out. I think we may have a little time, but let's take a walk down here. I think they even rent bicycles. See the sign says we rent, and I see a bunch of bicycles. Let's go check them out. Okay, guys, I found out some more information. Went down there where they rent bicycles. They also sell them there. It's an actual bike shop. It's huge. Let's talk to a gentleman down there. Right over here. Uh, right over there. That huge building right there. That's going to be a farmer's market. And these are the restrooms down here I was thinking of. Right down there. Okay, those are the restrooms. And I'm thinking, what I was thinking was the restroom was actually pavilion. It was a pavilion over here. Right over in there, which I was telling you about. But they are up upgrading, trying to make it pretty. Because this is, like I said, this is a famous trail through here. And Inverness, Inverness is, you know, this is where we live. And it's always been a beautiful town. It's historic. Now, I'm not sure what that building, that little older one's going to be right there. Do, 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 do. Right there. 
but this big one's definitely it's going to be a farmer's market so that's pretty cool i guess they're going to have a concession in there and stuff uh so that's going to be awesome so anyway i just want to let you know what i found out that is that is the railroad depot there the old railroad depot now i talked to the guy and he's not sure if they moved it to where it is now or if that's where it was and they moved the trail uh i'm not sure about that but this but this is definitely the trail now so and as you can see that's a beautiful lake over there and i don't know if you can see way on the other side i might be able to if i can hold you steady enough see them cars going past on the other side we travel that road every day that's the road that monkey was on when the truck broke the ball joint only she was a few miles going that direction so it is a beautiful lake this is where we take the ginu out a lot we've had the ginu out on this lake and actually brought it up here there's a dock up here and i guess they're going to put more docks in too for boaters and stuff because everybody likes to 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 bring their boats out during fourth of july and during when they have their events and stuff they like the boat up to it because the boat dock I don't know if I can hold you still or not. You can't see it from here, but way, way out there where that water is around the other side, to the right is the boat dock. Or the boat, you know, the boat slip. The boat ramp is where we put the boat in. And then you can go around and go under the bridge straight ahead where you've seen them cars. You can go under the bridge and then there's a couple big lakes way on the other side that we've boated to. We haven't been to it all. And then if you follow the lake around, it goes way back over in here. We've been over in this direction before, way back up in here. There's a bridge over in this, over in that area that you cross, cross under. We've been out, out that far. So we, we've uh, boated this lake, but we haven't seen it all. So we're gonna see some more of it this summer, I'm sure. Now way up there, I don't know if you can see that, see that little building there? That's the bathrooms, that's actually another little park that is connected kind of to this park. And it's connected, you take a boardwalk, you can either go to it on this path or there's a beautiful boardwalk that goes around the edge of the shoreline that'll take you out there and it also brings you up there by that road I showed you uh, when I zoomed in when you seen the cars going past so uh, that's looking like maybe another restroom so I guess it's gonna be beautiful guys And there's the caboose where we started All right there center screen whole screen actually and right over there just beyond that round looking thing right there come on focus there we go Right over there is where the dock used to be. Okay guys, I'm sorry about the noise, but the guys have to make a living, right? So this is going to be pretty cool. This is the concept plan, so it's going to look something like this. Right down here is going to be the terrace walls which that's these walls that you see right here and that them gentlemen are working on right over there okay so they're going to have the terrace walls and it's going to have 46 parking spaces so there's going to be restrooms here 
and I'm looking at this through the fence. This is kind of cool. They're going to have bark, uh, bike parking and they're going to have a trellis entry feature. And this is cool. They're going to have a floating covered stage. So that's probably where they're going to put the music. Where they're going to uh, have the music set up at. So they're going to have an honor garden. So, and then of course the playground, which I showed you is right here. Center screen. That's going to be the playground. So this is going to this is going to be cool. Now, here's a, like an overall picture. So, this is going to be some boat docks they're going to have here. Which, this is that park that I zoomed in that is way down there that I told you is kind of uh, part of this park. But I don't see any docks that's going to be right here. So, that's going to make it difficult if they're not going to have any docks here for people to come to the music unless they get off their boat and park way down there and then walk up this direction so I'm not sure we'll have to see when it's finished so I just kind of wanted to give you kind of an overview of what what's going on here so pretty cool selfie time There's the information I found, so thanks for bearing with me. I'll get more information as time goes on, and I'll include that in further updates. Like I said, I think I have some drone footage of I was over there by the shoreline. Um, I'll throw that in this clip, so if I haven't already. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wait on Monkey, and we'll chat at you soon. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone again for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care now.